Hi guys, um, I've recently been asked how to create a form tool in HSM Works. Um, just because I'm more familiar with the drawing environment um, in Inventor, I'm going to do it in Inventor instead. Um, however, the process is exactly the same. So, start by creating a sketch um, on one of the origin planes, ideally, and constrain the center point of the tool to the origin of the sketch. All you need to do is sketch out your entire profile, um, including the shaft as a closed loop. And then from there, finish your sketch and revolve the profile. So again, the, the selection methods and um, creating the revolution is exactly the same in SOLIDWORKS. Once that's complete, save the file off and create a new file or you can even even do this um, within the same file if you need to um, select your library or the document and click on the new mill tool set everything up that you need to in the general tab and switch to the cutter tab and under the type drop down select form mill normally you get a preview of the the tool type in here, but with a form mill, of course, they can't predict what the shape's going to be. So instead, they have provided a an import file button. Browse to the the tool file you've saved off, and open it up. And immediately, you can see in the graphics window on the right here that you're getting a preview of what the, of the tool you modelled. Sometimes it can come in upside down, so depending on the position you modelled it in. Um, relative to the the UCS of the the origin of the part, so you may have to flip it to get it back the right way. Most of these settings get propagated automatically, but as you can see here, I mean this is this is a bit too high. So um, and there's an issue with the shoulder length here. Um, if you get this error, um, you actually need to reduce the the flute length here to suit your the tool. So in this case here, I believe the flute length was 20. So the body length is 90, overall length well, is going to be more than that, so we'll, we'll call that 50, and overall length is 70. You can see it adjusts here. Now this shaft length, uh, it does need to be there in the geometry that you modelled, and it just adjusts based on this value. If you don't model the shaft, then um, when you adjust this value, the entire diameter of the cutter, of the cutter here will be used as the shaft, so it's not, not ideal. Um, you can select the type of holder that you need to use, so come into the sample holders here. I'm going to select the HSK63. So now I've got uh, my cutter and my holder sorted. Then you can set the feeds and speeds by switching to the feed and speed tab. Configure everything that you need here, set the spindle rotation as well. Um, especially with woodworking tools it can quite often be the other way around. And then to commit the change select OK. Now you've got your form tool created and you can go ahead and toolpath with it just like you can any other tool. Okay, well I hope that was helpful and uh, thanks for listening and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.